Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys the real reasons why the Dynamic Island is useful on the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max today. So let's get started. Guys, so there are multiple reasons why the Dynamic Island is actually very helpful and useful in life. Because at first, when the iPhone 14 got announced and the island came out, I thought it was very useless like some of my other viewers thought. Because like one or two of my subscribers thought this is actually useless. But after I tested it, very thorough testing, after I got it on my 11 Pro Max, I have confirmed it's actually very helpful and useful in life. All right, so the first reason is that sometimes when you start a timer on your clock app, when you go out of the clock app, you can't see the timer everywhere you go. Same for my iPhone SE right here. So I'm gonna go and start a timer right here for about 11 hours here. So you see when I go out, go out right here, swipe down, there's no real way to see the clock unless I swipe down. Say so now I can see it. When I go to apps, I don't see it either, just like that. But the Dynamic Island actually fixes that. You guys can see it's in the Dynamic Island and it stays everywhere I go, except for when I'm playing games, go to FaceTime or camera or TV. Those are the only spots where it goes away. But everything else, it works great. You could even force touch on it or long press, stop the timer, and it stops. Just like that. So the second and third reasons why I think that Dynamic Island is useful is because sometimes if you have a dark red wallpaper or a wallpaper that makes everything blend in like I did for this demo, I used my old PJ Masks wallpaper for this demo to show you guys this. Sometimes when you go to start screen recording and you forget that you're actually doing it or if you hit the button back in it and you don't notice it, sometimes this icon, it's very hard to see it. It's, it blends in really easily. But when I pull down here, you can actually see that the little icon in the island there which makes it easier for me to see and know if I left it on or not. It's because sometimes, like most people when they look at a phone, they always look toward the top of the screen, like up where the big stuff is and stuff that are noticeable. And that's why it's easy to tell if it's screen recording or not. You can even tap in. And the third reason is, sometimes when you're going to do a screen, screen recording on your phone, there's no way to tell if your phone is actually saving it or not, like this. So when I stop the recording, you guys can see there's no indication of it actually saving it in real time. Well, the Dynamic Island basically fixes that. So when I hit stop, you see it actually shows the progress bar, like a little spinning wheel there showing that it was saving, which is really nice. So the fourth reason why the Dynamic Island is useful and very helpful in life is because sometimes we're going to do a voice memo recording it's very hard to tell whether you're recording or not. You see, sometimes the only indication is yellow dot or up here. The same thing, if you have a wallpaper set, it makes it very hard to tell whether or not you're doing it or not because you don't usually look near the status bar. You only look here and down here in this area. But the Dynamic Island fixes that as well. So when I go into my Voice Memos app here, start a Voice Memo, you guys clearly see that it's in the Dynamic Island, see? You can actually see that I'm recording right here. So it makes it 10 times easier to see if I left my voice memos on. Because I did that once before, left my voice memos on, and I forgot it was recording. I didn't know it until I unlocked my phone. So that's why having it in the island is very helpful. It'll, it can help you know if you left your voice memos on. You can even force touch and see more info on it like this, see? See when I stop talking? Then when I stop, start talking again, it goes up. You can even stop it from here, just like that. So it even tells you with a check mark if it's saved. If you do it on here though, sorry about that, it basically takes you back, then you gotta stop it. It's easier with the island because it got more controls and more options, which is really nice. And so the fifth reason why I think that Dynamic Island is very useful is because sometimes you're playing a game or doing some hard and test, tense task. Sometimes when your battery runs low, it pops up a disruptive message on your display where you have to click cancel, then resume. Then sometimes the game pauses or you're thrown off guard or off focus and you fail your game or not do well on a test or hard work. Well, the Dynamic Island fixes that. Here's a screenshot from a couple days ago. You see, instead of popping up a disruptive message, it will basically do this. Low battery in the Dynamic Island. So instead of disrupting you, it will just allow you to see with a glimpse that your battery's low instead of interrupting you, 
which is nice. See, when I pull down with the reachability, see, low battery. Just like that. So the sixth reason why I think that dynamic island is useful and helpful is because sometimes when you go when you start playing a song, with then you turn your volume all the way down like this. See, I'm playing a song with the volume down. Sometimes you guys may forget that your music is on. You don't even realize it. It's playing in the background the entire time. You just completely forget about it. Well, the dynamic island basically fixes that problem. See, if I do it on my 11 Pro Max with the island, you guys can see right there that it now shows in the dynamic island that I'm playing music. So now I can look up, see that's playing, go into it and stop it. Now I won't have to worry about leaving my music on all the time in the background. And I can also see if my music has been paused for a split second, which is nice. The seventh reason why I think this is useful because sometimes when you're going to play video in landscape, when you plug your phone in, if it doesn't make a sound, there's no real way to tell if it's actually charging or not. So let me go and disconnect my charger so I can show you this. So I basically pulled up a demo movie that I muted. You see, if I plug my phone in here, it vibrated, but there's no way to see whether or not it's actually charging. But if I do this on my 11 Pro Max here, let me just plug it in. You guys can see over here, it shows the icon that's charging. I'll do it again. Wait for it. You see, it now gives me a little indicator on the left-hand side that my phone is charging which is very, very helpful because sometimes if your phone tap the gadget is broken or if you have no speaker sound, there's no real way to see if it's charging. That little indicator is very helpful so I now know it's charging while I'm playing video. So the eighth reason why I think the dynamic island is very useful is because sometimes when you start a map on your phone that you want to go to something else, there's no real way to see the map or a banner pops down and obstructs your view of your widgets. Like I started a demo right here. But as you guys can see, it now appears right in the dynamic island. Sorry about that. See, when I go like this, it basically appears in the island now. So it basically shows you the directions in the island pointing where you need to go. So basically your phone can still talk to you but not obstruct your view, which is nice. You can still use your phone normally without getting interrupted. So that's where I use because when I go into here, another app, see it glows. Whether well, or not like that, see, it's really nice. So the ninth reason why I think this is useful because sometimes when you go into an app that requires a network like the Astro settings, It'll basically pop this message from your face to the point where you can't interact with it at all, but you have to, you're forced to click something to get rid of it. But with a dynamic island, instead of doing that, it does this. It says turn off airplane mode to use data. It pops up a little banner like this. I'll do it again. See, so this D, instead of interrupting you, you can still interact with it even though the message is up. And that's why, that's another reason why it's useful. So the tenth reason why I think that dynamic island is useful, because sometimes when you go to charge your device on silent mode, when you plug it in, you can still you can still feel the vibration as charging, but you might miss the icon up here. Well, when you plug it in to the dynamic with dynamic island on, it actually popped right in front of your face in visible sight. That's charging. That little message across is nice, so it tells you that it's charging, which is really nice. So the last reason why I think that dynamic island is useful because sometimes when you go to mute your phone, it's really hard to tell what's saying. Like it's really hard to tell with the so the tiny text. But now when I do it with the dynamic island. You can guys can see it. Real, it does. It actually tells you with the icon. The icon is more visible, and everything is bigger with the island. And it actually shakes when you unmute your phone, telling you that you're unmuted, which is nice. So I like having the island. There's more controls, more actions, more control over everything. It's really nice. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did the video, give this a thumbs up. Video. Peace out.